Welcome to the Morningstar Manager Checkup, where we update you on the latest ratings from our fund research team. First up is the Dodgen Cox Worldwide Global Stock Fund, which maintains its Morningstar analyst rating of gold. There's something of a rarity here in that across our five research pillars of price, process, people, parents, and performance, there's a positive for every single one. From a parent company that's rolled out just five funds since 1931, to managers investing heavily in the funds, and low fees compared with peers, we believe investors' interests are firmly aligned. The eight-person team who run the fund have been at the firm for an average of over 20 years, and with their value tilt, they're not afraid to invest in out-of-favor stocks. This can hold them back in the short term, but we believe that the number of compelling factors for repeatability in future outperformance really stand out. Next is the Invesco Perpetual Asian Fund, which has a bronze rating from Morningstar analysts. The fund benefits from one of the most experienced managers covering the region in Stuart Parks, who specialised in Asian markets since 1990. Since April 2015, he's been supported by co-manager William Lamb. The process relies on Parks' top-down views, which set the scene for where the team focuses at a country and sector level, with Lamb responsible for the stock selection. Although there's no particular star bias, there's been a tendency to favour steady, large-cap franchises, which are market leaders in their field. What we've generally seen over time in terms of country exposure is an overweight to Hong Kong, while there's also been a long-standing underweight to Australia because of lower growth prospects. Finally, we move on to an investment trust, Edinburgh Worldwide, which maintains its analyst rating of bronze. This is managed by a team of six at Bailey Gifford, who are looking for up-and-coming global companies, industry disruptors, and new participants likely to impact large players. This is therefore a global small and mid-cap offering. And so you get a further insight into what they're investing in. Some 30% of the portfolio's exposure is in companies that aren't yet making a profit. There's also 20% in biotech. The focus on nascent companies in volatile sectors means there's a need to stomach a rough ride from time to time. But overall, this is a pretty unique approach backed by a patient bottom-up team whose idea generation has also been leveraged to great effect in other Bailey Gifford funds.